Yeah, Suzanne, this all happened around the time people were leaving bars. So there were witnesses, but the driver, whoever the driver was, well, that's still unknown. He loved people, all ethnics. A heartbroken mother remembering her son, 22 year old Rodney Richard. He was killed in a hit and run in downtown Lancaster. I went to the hospital, and the um, doctor said, they did everything they could do for my son. Surveillance video shows what happened. It was around 2 a.m. on Saturday. You could see Richard go into the middle of the street. As he puts his hands up in the air, the driver of the white truck slams right into him. He didn't move. Once he hit the ground, he didn't, he didn't move at all. Jason Sanchez was there. He says Richard was intoxicated and had just been kicked out of a nearby lounge. I guess he got in a fight with security there and then came up to the bar. He had bottle of alcohol in his hand. They told him he had to leave the property, and that's when he went across the street. Deputies say the driver of the white truck was going well over the posted 15 mile per hour speed limit when Richard was hit. They go on to say the driver then stopped, but then took off. We have to forgive him. I mean, we really have to forgive him. The family now using prayer for support and candles and balloons to remember him. I just want my baby to know I love him. And I'll see him again. And they have these words for whoever killed him. You come and you admit to what you've done because you just caused a bad scene. Like, you know, you put, you broke my mom's heart. You broke her heart. And detectives say the suspect's vehicle was either a white Dodge or a white Chevrolet. As for the family, they have set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for that funeral. Reporting live from Lancaster, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.